Uruguay is one of the few countries in Latin America that does not have dengue fever. This tropical disease is caused by a virus that is transmitted to humans through the bite of an infected mosquito. If left untreated, the disease can turn deadly. In 1997, the dengue-carrying mosquito, Aedes aegypti, was once again detected in Uruguay after having been eradicated in 1958. Uruguay is a country that is free of dengue, of the infection of dengue, but it has Aedes aegypti, que es el mosquito transmisor de la enfermedad. Nosotros somos un país pequeño que eh, nos encontramos al norte limitados por Brasil y al noroeste limitados por Argentina. Tanto uno como otro tienen la enfermedad. Health officials in Uruguay know that their country is at risk of contracting dengue because the mosquitoes do not respect borders. Nosotros discutimos mucho de por qué no existe el dengue, dengue en salto, y mismo en Uruguay, digamos, ¿no? Yo creo que es el trabajo de todos estos años. Es decir, que el Uruguay, a partir de que en el año 97 se detecta nuevamente Aedes aegypti en la ciudad de Colonia, este, comienza un trabajo, yo creo que, este, muy fuerte de eliminación de recipientes y de, y, de, y de información a la población. Eso yo creo que a la larga de los años da un, ha ido dando un resultado. During the summer, higher temperatures and humidity favor the reproduction of the mosquito. Additionally, the warmer climate also increases the trade and transit of tourists in Salto. Nosotros nos preocupa la llegada de mosquitos infectados desde el exterior. Pueden venir en las cabinas, pueden venir huevos pegados este, a los neumáticos o pueden venir este, huevos en las propias mercaderías. In support of Uruguay's National Dengue Prevention Program, researchers at the Universidad de la República are working in urban communities in the border city of Salto to increase awareness and reduce the risk of dengue returning to the country. This effort has been part of a larger research project in seven Latin American countries to find community and environmental approaches to reduce the number of mosquitoes that can transmit dengue. The research initiative is supported by TDR, the World Health Organization's special program for research and training in tropical diseases and the International Development Research Centre of Canada. The team in Salto began with surveys and home visits to find out what residents knew about dengue and where the mosquito was breeding. Most people knew of the disease and how it is transmitted, but they weren't doing much to stop it. Containers were often left open in outside areas, collecting water that provided fertile breeding grounds for the Aedes aegypti. Raising awareness of the risks was an important first step. Physicians, local community members and social organizations were included in the planning. For the group of dengue, they have come a few times to visit us here at the house. And we have learned many things that we can't leave the water closed or that we have to take it continuously. Residents learned the value of emptying receptacles containing stagnant waters, how to treat water tanks with environmentally safe larvicides, and the importance of disposing of small containers that could become breeding sites. The Ministry of Public Health, the city and research staff launched a new container collection campaign. Nos propusimos visitar a los vecinos, entregarles bolsas para que ellos mismos juntaran los recipientes en sus domicilios y luego nosotros pasamos a, a retirar esas bolsas. Esa bolsa después se lleva a una cooperativa que se le llama Las Gaviotas, de acá de Salto, que trabaja en el basurero municipal y ellos este, hacen el reciclaje de eso. Este, es decir que nada se pierde directamente. The researchers found that educating the community and involving them in the recycling campaign made a difference. The number of mosquito pupae was reduced the following year as people maintained these new habits. Es que antes nosotros entrábamos a la casa y ya el hecho de, de ver veía lleno de botellas, tanques con agua, los baldes, los recipientes de los perros que no los lavaban. Y ahora vos entras y ves el recipiente del perro limpito. No hay tanques, prácticamente. The program is now being launched in another part of Salto, and if successful, will be expanded throughout the entire city. Una cosa importante que vimos es que eh, nos piden que este proyecto continúe, que, este, que estas buenas prácticas este, eh, las sigamos 
este, perpetuando en el tiempo. Porque este, digo, se vio con mucho agrado este enfoque de ecosalud como una práctica eh, holística que engloba eh, muchos, este, muchas instituciones, muchas personas y eh, comprometen a la población.